Are you choosing between a 14 inch laptop like this Acer Swift 5 or a 15 inch laptop like this my Dell Inspiron 15 7000? In this video I will go through what are the differences between choosing something in a 14 inch form factor and a 15 inch form factor. It's actually not only about the screen size, so we will dig pretty deep in this video and go through all the differences that will arise when you decide whether to choose a 14 inch or a 15 inch laptop. This is the size difference. As you can see, they are differing a few centimeters, both on the length, on the width, and also the 15 inch is a little bit thicker than the 14 inch. On a 14 inch laptop, you don't have space to add a numerical keyboard. There's only space for a regular keyboard setup. On the 15 inch laptop, you actually have space for a full keyboard with a numerical keypad on the right hand side. For me, that makes a really big difference when you're working a lot with numbers. So if you work with numbers, you should definitely look into having a keyboard with a numerical keyboard in it. The difference when it comes to weight is pretty significant. In this case, I have two really lightweight laptops in the respective 14 and 15 inch category. The Acer Swift 5 weighs 970 grams, but the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 weighs about 1.7 kilos. Although for its performance, it's one of the lighter 15 inch models that you can find, even though you can actually get a 15 inch Acer Swift 5 from the 2018 generation and get that at less than one kilogram as well. But Acer Swift 5 15 inch is a really unique product and most of the 15 inch laptops on the market are gonna be very different, both when it comes to weight and when it comes to performance. So the weight you obviously want to look out for, but what I said last there with performance is actually really important as well. Since a 15 inch laptop is larger, there's room for more cooling and more powerful components to be put into the chassis. While a 14 inch laptop has usually got a weaker U processor and a weaker MX150 or MX250 graphics card and usually one fan to cool the system, a 15 inch version can have both an H CPU, which means it's a 45 watt chip instead of 15 watts, and a more powerful GPU like the GTX 1650 that is in this Dell computer. On top of that, there's also space to put more storage and usually more slots for RAM. So in this case, the 14 inch version only has one RAM slot and it's not upgradable. But the 15 inch one has two RAM slots and both of them are upgradable. So I can myself purchase RAM up to 32 gigabytes and put in there, therefore make it a lot cheaper to get a super powerful computer than if I would have to spec it out that way from when I purchased it. Also in the Dell computer, the 15 inch computer, there are two slots for SSDs. So I have upgraded mine to have a total of 2,500 gigabytes of storage. And that's something that is never possible in a 14 inch form factor. And instead you will have to make an external SSD and bring that along, which adds some extra weight, some extra bulk, and also some cables that you have to plug in if you need that extra storage on a regular basis. When it comes to having more power, you need to watch out though for how much power you have in the battery to be able to drive those more powerful components. The battery life of these two laptops that I showed you are pretty similar. You can usually run them for about nine to 10 hours if you're not busting really heavy tasks. So if you have a 15 inch laptop with powerful components like an H processor and a GTX 1650, to be able to drive these components, you're gonna need a large battery. In the Dell Inspiron 15 7000, as well as in the Dell XPS 15, that is the more popular version of Dell's 15 inch lineup, there is a 97 watt hour battery. That is a really big battery and is good for using with those powerful components and run the computer for a pretty long time. When it comes to ports, in both of these laptops, the port selection is pretty similar, although in the 15 inch you have one extra USB-A port plus a micro SD card reader. So if you really need three USB-A ports or a micro SD card reader, 
you should probably look into something else than the Swift 5, but also there are a lot of 14 inch laptops that lack kind of that super powerful port setup. The Swift 5 has a way better port setup than many of the 14 inch laptops on the market. When it comes to the actual screens, that is the most obvious difference between these two models. So with a 14 inch screen, you can obviously not have an as big workspace as with a 15 inch screen. But I found when I was doing work related tasks on the go that the difference between the sizes is not actually that big. If I'm gonna work really productive and have a big screen, I need a desktop screen of like 24 or 27 inches to feel that I'm really working on a big screen. If I'm gonna use a laptop to feel that I'm working on a big screen, I would need a 17 inch screen so when it comes to just screen size, I would actually be completely fine with having the 14 inch laptop and not go for the bigger version. But when it comes to the performance parts and when it comes to the upgradability parts, I really see the advantages of keeping the 15 inch and not using the 14 inch. So which one should you actually go for? In the end, it comes down to whether you prioritize weight and portability or whether you prioritize screen real estate and upgradability slash power. If you really need a powerful laptop, you are not going to be able to get that in a 14 inch form factor. If you need a really lightweight and portable computer, you are able to find it in a 15 inch form factor, but you're way more likely to find what you want in the 14 inch form factor. I've made reviews about both these laptops, so if you want to see my reviews and the other videos I made about them, you can see them in the playlists that I have linked in the description below. If you want to find these laptops or any other of my recommended 14 and 15 inch laptops, you can also find links to where to get them in the description below. I am W2Best, I make videos about tech, travel and inspiration, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day, bye bye!